Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we are looking at how we can install our IDE and compiler for our C++ program. How do you download? By going to your favorite search engine. I would use Google. So once you go to your search engine, what you can do it's just to type code blocks. Usually, the very first link that you get will take you to www.codeblocks.org. Click on that link. This will take you to the code blocks website. Look for the downloads link and click on it. There are different builds when you click on the downloads. What we will be interested in is the binary release. By clicking on the binary release, it will bring you to a page where we have different versions for different operating systems. Here, I'll talk about the Windows release. So when you scroll down to where we have the Windows setup, you see that we have so many different setups for your Windows application, depending on whether your machine's architecture is a 32-bit machine or is a 64-bit machine. For the ones that you see 32-bit, those are optimized for 32-bit machines. Once you don't see anything, it means that it is optimized for a 64-bit machine. We will also see that for some of the links, you have MINGW indicated after the version. What this means is that these are the IDs that come with the compilers together. So, for instance, the machine I'm using is a 64 bit machine. And so, I'm going to go for this particular setup. You can download it from either force hub or sourceforge.net any of them works fine so if you want to download this you just click on that and then it takes you to the page where you can download the download will start shortly all right so i have my code blocks downloaded to install just double click on it Once you have double clicked on it, you just follow the wizard. So you click on it, you agree, you move to the next, you move to the next, and then the installation process starts. For you to successfully write your program, you need two main things your compiler and your IDE. So what is a compiler? A compiler is simply a computer program that translates a high-level language, which is readable to us as humans, into a low-level language, which the computer understands. Let's try and understand what an IDE is. An IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. This is a program that programmers use to write their software. When writing your software, you could use a notepad, but notepad is very inefficient because assuming that there are reserve or keywords that you don't know of, notepad will not highlight them. An IDE would highlight these parts. It's not simply a place where you type codes. It highlights the different parts of your code so that you know which of them are reserved words and which of them are not. It also helps you to debug your code where there is an error. It underlines it for you to see. Again, an IDE makes it very easy for you to compile your codes. With just a click of a button, your code can be built and run. All of this is not possible when you are using Notepad 
or a text editor. And that is why an ID is very necessary when coding. So after having successfully installed your code blocks IDE, you should have an interface that looks like this. How do we know that this installation was done successfully? Let's create our first project. We can do this by clicking on create a new project. So let's select console application and then hit go. Make sure you select C++ and then next. Give your project a title. So I'll call this project high level program. You can select where you want your project to be housed. In our case, this is being housed on our desktop, which I'm okay with. So I move to the next and then I finish. And then again, I want you to be written, so I hit yes. So with what we see on our screen, we can see that high level programming as a project has been created successfully, but we can't see any files for now. How do we see the files? Expand the sources folder. You see there's a file called main.cpp. Let's double click on that to open. Now, what we see here is our first C++ program. This is a simple program that displays the text, hello world. If you don't understand anything in this code, don't worry, we would explain them line by line. For now, what we are interested in is for you to be able to download, install, create a project, and then be able to run the project successfully. So, once you have successfully created your project, if you want to run the project, first you need to convert the high level language into a machine readable language. You do this by building your project. So, how do we build a project? By clicking on the build menu, we will see build. But also, we see that there is a gear icon here. We can simply click on that gear icon. And then, by this action, we have successfully converted our code from high level into a machine readable language. So, after building, let's now run. Once we hit this, we see that hello world is displayed. So, Congratulations, we've just successfully created our first C++ program.